something that if the paint is in really good condition and you really wasn't looking to repaint the, the car, we're just gonna do a panel, for example, but I mean, you could do you know one panel or the entire car this way. But how would you uh, do some artwork, like some airbrushing or lay down some stripes or something like that, and uh, you know if the paint was in good condition. So we're gonna kind of demonstrate that for you real fast. Uh, ho hopefully this helps you out. This is for someone, uh, Danielle, that asked about how to do this. So the first thing you wanna do is any type of repair, you always want to wash it with soap and water. You want to use dish soap. Uh, a lot of your car soaps will not take the wax and greases off that we put on there, the silicones. However, the uh, dish soap helps to cut, cut the grease and get it off of there. So using dish soap works, works really well for that stuff. I'm just going to spray it down. You do not have to have a power washer. We have it here, so we use it. Uh, I realize probably you're not going to have to use a lot of this stuff. We're going to kind of show you how to, to do this without some of the tools, but uh, you can use just a regular hose to wash it down. Okay, we got it uh, rinsed off. We're going to go ahead and blow it off. have all the wax and greases off, we're going to use some wax and grease remover. Uh, there's a lot of different manufacturers that, that make this, but basically it's just designed to uh, take the wax and greases off. You can get this in aerosol cans if you don't have these type of containers. Spray it on there and then just wipe it off really good. Now this is just a panel that we found, uh, and the question is, if, a if the paint is in really good condition, how, how to do this? Now obviously we do got some little scuffs and nicks right here, uh, but we're going to pretend like this panel is in good condition, and what would we do if we did not have to do any repairs or repainting of the panel? So we're just going to imagine these are not here, and, and go ahead and go through the steps it takes to, to get some uh, artwork done on this, and clear Okay, the way we sand stuff here, uh, you know, we're getting this ready. If we were sanding this just for clear coat or sanding it to blend into it, what that means is we're going to sand it and we're just going to clear coat it. If your sandpaper is too rough, uh, it's, it's going to, the clear is not going to cover the scratches. You're going to see the scratches in the clear. So what we do is we sand, we use a DA. It has an inner surface pad here. You, you need to use that. And then you also have 800 grit that we're going to go over with. However, I know that uh, you may not have some of the DA's uh, tools and things like this. You know, it makes your job a little bit faster. If you don't need to do this by hand. You can still do this, do this by hand just by wet sanding. Uh, if you're going to wet sand by hand, you probably want to go with something a little bit finer. This is a thousand grit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this into thirds. And make sure this is wet or uh, dry paper. It's usually black. And you can Get it, you know, from most places that sell paint. But I'm just going to fold it in two thirds. I'm just going to use this uh, washer that I have, a little soap and water won't burn it. And I'm going to use, use my hand. I'm going to keep my hand real flat. What you don't want to do is dig in with your fingers that make, 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 make marks and things like that. So I'm just going to go over it gently. And you want to be careful on your edges because you don't want to burn through anywhere. Because if you sand through your paint, that's going to show be clear coat. So you just want to take the gloss off. It doesn't take long. Just make sure that you do every square inch. Because if something's not sanded, your clear is going to peel from there. And uh, you want to make sure your edge is good because the paint is going to peel. It's usually going to start from your edges. And this would be the same thing if it was your car attached to it. We just got a, a panel that's off the car just to make it easy to demonstrate. Uh, you can sand your whole car with a, a thousand 
you know, get tuned to artwork over your host bar. Or if you're just doing a door, do that. And then uh, go ahead and clear the Okay, now that I've got everything sanded, I've got it here again. There's always edges and places it's hard to get to the sandpaper. You get a scuff pad and come back and use that to get all the edges. Be sure to get the edges extra good because if something's going to peel, it's going to start coming in. I'm going to use a scuff pad. This is a 3M Scotch Rite scuff pad. Use the number two or number three, which is really fine. Uh, if you use the bar thread and the red one, you're going to have to paint over that. You're not wanting to see paint over the part of this. So. This one will get my edges really good. And go ahead and do the whole panel again to make sure you got everything. Okay, now we got scuff, we can rinse it back off. Again, you don't have to have a power washer, you can just use a hose. Uh, dry off and then we can start showing you how to do uh, your artwork on that.